my highest ambition would be that long after everyone's forgotten that I was a single mother and that I was poor and that I wrote in cafes, people are still reading about Harry Potter. That, that, that's my highest ambition. But I hope it, the, the books are supposed to be funny as well and a lot of the humour for me comes from this conflict between this magical, very subversive world and the workaday world where people simply refuse to see what's right under their noses, which is that there are still wizards living everywhere, but in secret. Well, it amused me. <laughs> Suffice it to say, it isn't just children who are asking for autographs. <laughs> came to me on a train in 1990. I was sitting just staring out of the window and I, I, the idea just fell out of nowhere. It was the purest stroke of inspiration I've ever had in my life. And I've been writing about him ever since. Literally, I have boxes, loads, loads, loads of stuff on him. The first book was published last year. It was partially written in cafes near the author's home in Edinburgh. Joe Rowling is 33 and divorced. Her daughter is five, but was just a baby when Harry Potter was being born. We're here in Nicholson's Cow. Mm -hmm. What role did Nicholson's Cow have in all Huge. Because the... they used to let me sit here for two hours at a time when my daughter was um, asleep next to me in the pushchair. The, the only way I could get her up to have her nap was to keep her moving. So I used to walk around town, normally this part of town, because I wanted to come here until she fell asleep. Then I'd run in here and sit here with a, one cold coffee for two hours at a time and write, just write like 